I want to walk you through the sequence of events here, if I can, very quickly. There, look at this. Look at this gouge in the ground, over a centimetre thick. That's what happened when those two cars came together. It forced, it forced the two floors of the cars and the front wing right into the track, dug a bit of the track up. You can see more scarring further down. But if we walk quickly along, and you can see further scarring here, that's where the cars are you know, running off their wheels and the metals hitting, or the carbon fibre scraping right in, into the surface itself. More marks here, but this is the significant one. At this point, this is when Zhou Guan Yu is upside down and effectively riding on his halo device. And you can see the red paint of the halo there from the Alfa Romeo car. And look how far he went upside down. About 150 metres, so we'll have to, to go quickly. But you can see the marking all the way along here. Decelerating, but heading straight for that stand at Abbey. <laughs> and some pretty terrified spectators. Along he went, onto the gravel, spinning round, still upside down, and you'll see when we get there, a couple of things to note. First of all, some impressions in the catch fencing. In the time we've been covering Formula One on Sky, we've not seen a car actually being launched over barriers into the, the fencing just below the stand. But you can see when we eventually get here, some deep impressions. George Russell, by the way, very good of him, got out of his car, ran across the gravel to try and, and, and help the, the extraction process for Zhou Guanzhou. But look, you can see the impact it's made on the metal fence there. But the second thing to note, and this is what concerned Russell afterwards, the car then dropped into that very narrow gap between this tyre barrier and the catch fence. And maybe if the FIA investigate this a little bit further, they'll maybe look at, is there a safety issue there potentially? Do we still want to have such a narrow gap?